Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 103 of my Gateway Experience. Thank you so much for tuning in. The purpose of these videos is to document our journey through the Monroe Institute's Gateway Experience. I like to call the Gateway Experience a scientific, repeatable process of self-discovery, self-exploration, and ultimately self-mastery or self-actualization. It consists of a total of 36 tapes for a total of six waves, as that is how it's all divided up. We are currently on the second wave, the 12th tape total. It's called, uh, so we're on the last tape of the second wave. And it's called the living body map today was the 10th day doing this tape so if you haven't seen any of my other videos go ahead and check those out that way you can see our journey so far let's get straight into it right now it is 5 6 a.m i woke up this morning at 3 47 a.m amazingly naturally i felt like i needed to get the day going so that's exactly what we are doing we're just getting the day going early let's go okay and today i'm going to recap as usual it's the 10th episode of the series so we're going to go ahead and recap pretty much everything from the very very baby steps to now and i'm going to do it conceptually so it's going to be probably a quick video if you don't fully capture what i'm trying to explain to you then maybe go back and watch the 10th episodes or maybe sometimes the ninth or sometimes the first of a different series because I will be recapping things that way. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I was kind of doing it a little bit yesterday. The gateway experience is all about the hemispheric synchronization. So being able to synchronize our hemispheres, okay? Human beings, as we go through our lives, uh, if we go through a fight or flight situation, we uh, can become stuck because what happens in a fight or flight situation is we will, all of our blood literally will flow from our head to our extremities, to our hands and legs, our arms and legs. And the reason why it does that is because you don't need to be thinking critically in a life or death situation. All you need is to fight with your arms or you need to run with your legs. So what that ends up happening, what it does to your brain is it creates a brain imbalance, okay? And the way those imbalances work is if you're in a left brain imbalance, not imbalance, but imbalance, meaning no balance there, which is left brain dominant, and it doesn't just have to be from a fight or flight situation. It could be also from chronic misuse. So left brain is the analytical, it's the logical, it's the, the zeros and ones, it's the straight lines. It's the free will is the only thing, therefore everything is chaos. That's what left brain is. The right brain hemisphere is a holistic thought. Everything happens for a reason. There's no such thing as free will. It's curved lines. It's um, thinking, concepts, pictures, and colors. Okay. Now, when we bring those two together, that's where we get a fully functional brain. Okay. It's the chemical marriage. It's the marriage of the two hemispheres is where we get to be able to produce um, great ideas, is where we get to take action in the real world, where we can align our thoughts, meaning somewhat the left brain, and then the right brain, which is really the connection to the heart, um, which we would be our emotions. So we can align our thoughts and our emotions. We can then have good action in this world that we live in. Um, not necessarily just good action, but aligned action, because there are people that misuse this in order to get d bad things done. Because this is the way to get things done. This is the only way to get things done is to align your thoughts with your feelings and then eventually carry that out in proper aligned action and those that are not aligned are only creating chaos for themselves and pain and others okay so this is the basis the basis of the honey sink process and the gateway experiences the very first thing that we do is use this frequency following response to align our hemispheres once we have aligned 
our hemispheres and we can start to become conscious and aware and peacefully serene with um, a high degree of calmness, we can start to realize that we are more than just our physical bodies. There's no reason to become constantly fighting. There's no reason to be in a constantly submissive role. There's no reason to be in a constantly uh, dominant role where uh, you have to be the one that's aggressing and taking over things with your ego. Otherwise, things will not work out. That's the left brain dominant or being completely submissive and everybody, somebody else has a plan and just follow that plan and become like a dog. That's not what we want to do either. We want to be balanced and we do that through the different what, what waves of uh, frequency that our brain can go through. And just naturally we go through these, we go through the delta, we go through the uh, theta, uh, the alpha, beta, and gamma. And we go through this through our wakeful life, we go through it through our uh, sleeping life. But we first become aware and conscious, calmly serene of our thoughts and that we are more than our physical body. Then as we begin to resonate and tune into that nature and who we really are, we begin to discover that, then we can start to explore and we reach the threshold of change, which we're basically going from the first wave to the second wave. And the way we went to, from the first wave is through the energy conversion box first, then into the resonant tuning, then into, and we did this through the different focus tapes, and we even went through a release and recharge wave or a series of tapes there. And uh, then we go into our focus 10, which is really allowing our conscious awareness to be the dictator and not necessarily quote, that's not necessarily the best word, but quote unquote dictator, instead just the ruler or the master, okay? But we really allow ourselves to be the ones that are in control, to be a true sovereign, to be master of ourselves. And the first way we do that is by controlling our body and saying, hey body, you're gonna have to go to sleep. You're gonna have to go to sleep because you're not, you're only one part of me. You can't dictate this being. I'm the one, the creator, that is going to be dictating and creating this experience. And so the way we go through that is we go through the different patterns. We see that what happens when we set an intention. We did that through the one month patterning. And we can give ourselves a deadline. And we can allow the super conscious mind, subconscious, super conscious mind to come into effect. And to completely um, just guide our lives and make these things happen for us. And they do. They happen for us in magical ways. We just have to set the intention. And because of our reticular activating system, we will just see things popping up left and right, certain symbols, certain signs, certain things that just guide our path. It's like if you're at night and you're walking down a road, all of a sudden all these LEDs with like flashing signs will just start to kind of point the way that you should be going based on your intention, okay? And um, that's one part of it. But then there's also color, okay? Color has to do with our creation because we look at the light spectrum and so when we start to look at the light spectrum, we start to see things like, hey, you know, red is like the, the, the red frequencies are like the lower ones. And then we've got the purple or the violet are the higher ones. So then what, goes, what happens when we go below the red spectrum? We got infrared. And that's light that we can't even see. It's vibrating at such a low frequency. We can't even see it. Same thing with the ultralight, ultraviolet above the violet frequencies. They're, it's, it's vibrating at such a high rate that we can't even see it that kind of brings me back to connect the point of our even brains. And so we're basically kind of going from a delta where we can't even be conscious of what's going on to a gamma all the way at the top where we reach something we like to call Christ consciousness, realizing that there's patterns going on, not just in our lives, but other people's lives and that we're all ultimately one. Okay, so we're looking at color and that what, that's what color brings to us but we really want to be in the middle we really want to be in the green color aspect which is the same thing as like the left um, um, being the red the the uh, right being the blue or the purple and um, and then bringing that back together to the center so we're in the green we're in the green the very center of the of the rainbow there is the green light frequencies we look around nature we see green we're here on earth the planet that's green you know green and blue so this is what this is color is all about we can use color in our daily lives by meditating on it by thinking on it and then we can also shape our even our our bodies so now we're, we're casting a mold okay now that we've got these raw materials all these raw materials of thought of frequencies of this and that and the other now we've got a mold which is our bodies okay now we're coming back to our bodies and we're 
come becoming conscious and taking full control and saying, Hey, I am the master of myself, or I am attempting to be the master of myself. I'm not perfect, but I will strive to be the best that I can. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to look at my body. We're in this tape. Now it's the living body map. Okay. So we're in this living body map and we start out by paying attention to it and building it out and taking it through the spectrums and colors. And it's the living body map. Then we, we, we go ahead and we put that on top of our own body and see how it matches up with our vision of the living body map. And then we can align those two. We can use our energy bar tool with that higher balancing um, healing energy of purple to cleanse and to really align our energy body at that point and really make sure that our emotions are not going one way or the other. And the reason why we have to build up from the way that we started to now is because a lot of the times what ends up happening in our lives as human beings is we end up giving away our power to one thing. We end up We end up giving away our power to another thing. Um, we, we end up becoming emotionally attached to a certain outcome, maybe to a certain um, a, a product of a process, okay? Like, um, you know, uh, a football team winning a football game, um, the, 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 the good guy beating the bad guy at the end of the movie, uh, watching a soap opera mo mo novel. And the reason why we watch these things is because we're, a lot of the times we're not really in tune with ourselves. We want all those reminders of like the allegories and the wisdom and it's like processed wisdom, which we don't necessarily apply in our lives. The best way to do it, really apply that wisdom is not to be programmed at a lower level, but to be programmed at a higher level and to become the conscious voice. And that is the purpose of this is to really view yourself and view your body from that higher sense, from that higher um, you can like really construct your body and construct what, what your alignment, what alignment means for you and what misalignment means for you. So you can make sure that you're going towards the right destination. Not only that, but you can also explore the vast field of consciousness outside of the physical realm, which happens when we close our eyes, we see pitch black. It's kind of like going out through the middle of space and looking everywhere and all you see is black. But then somewhere out in the distance, you feel yourself being pulled towards a planet, maybe, right? You're, you're maybe being pulled towards a gravitational pull, or maybe you see like a light at the end over there and you start to, and as you get closer to the light, you see this planet thing, you finally land. Okay. But then this planet is not earth. This planet maybe is a planet of your own creation. Maybe it's a planet that is physically real, but we can't access it in the physical realm because we can't get there because of the technology that we have. But the technology that we have within us is that all points in time and space are one. Okay. So this is what we're facing right now. The living body map, the living body map is our own creation. And so because it's our own creation, it has aspects. It's a reflection of ourselves. Okay. But then it's also, um, it, uh, you have uh, n no limits and full freedom to uh, do what you will in that and this in your realm. Okay, so um, yeah, that is what it's all about. That is what the living body map has shown me. It's a reflection. It is also a higher state of awareness. Okay, and it's an alignment uh, of what it is that you're here for. Okay, it's a reminder, and not to completely allow yourself to go into um, this lower level area, but to continue to increase and that will not only increase yourself, but also increase other people. And, uh, and the way we do that is by being fully present is by taking the gift that was given to us and appreciating it. So I think that that is what I've got to share with you guys today about this living body map. It is the 10th episode here, and we're going to be going into the liftoff tape is going to be the one that we're doing tomorrow. So it's going to be the third wave. I'm not sure what the third wave is called, but I am so excited about continuing to do this. And so if you want to communicate with me, let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. Peace.